The RLCS zoomed back onto your telly screens a couple of weeks ago, with North America first on the grid. Ahead of this weekend's second NA regional, we thought we'd remind you of three key things that happened when North America lifted the curtain. Ready, steady, coach! Yesterday's champions have become today's coaches, and in Regional 1, a pair of bona fide legends donned the old sports cup and tracksuit for their RLCS coaching debuts. Season 6 World Champ Torment, or is that Mr. Coach Kyle Torment Storer now? Didn't exactly have the best start though, as OG went 0 3 in the Swiss. Phew, looks like he's got his work cut out. A happier start unfolded across the high seas, however, as Yar, the pirates on a boat, fared much better with their own up-and-coming captain. <laughs> Quarterfinals for Achieves and his pirates was a great start, especially as on the pitch, 5-Up was having an RLCS debut of his own. EU players in North America. I know, right? Crazy. But once again, a couple of brave players made the EU to NA off-season pilgrimage. This time, it was Morocco's Nas and the Netherlands' very own Jorias' turn. And gee whiz, did they make quite the mark alongside AJ on M80. Keep eyes on how Rebellion start moving the ball forward. That's oh a big miss my. from Justin! Oh. No! just happened! The 3 0 Swiss run was no surprise for our little continent's latest exports, but the fun and games were brought to an abrupt stop by Justin and his North American rebellion. M80 will have to do even better next time if they want to claim one of North America's four slots at the first major. Although with rebellion not qualifying for the second Swiss stage, the door is now very much ajar. The heavyweights deliver. Before a Fennec had been demoed in anger, the pro teams power ranked each other, and two rosters were deemed the region's big dogs by a fair distance. Sometimes, theoretical super teams can flop out the gate. Just ask G2's Beast Mode and Daniel, who missed out on last season's World Championships with version 1. This time around, though, they and fellow new super team Gen G had no such issues. Soft out of the corner, Chronic for Jack. I don't think anybody expected Chronic to go for another touch, and that completely threw off the Rebellion defense. Atomic with a win at the midfield will send it all the way back to Dignitas's corner. Gyro, oh, hold on. Beast mode going for goal, and it's good! But Jack used the musty to get more distance, and that actually threw Chronic off, who was playing close, and now a 50 on the goal line! Can G2 be toppled? Will Gen G reach every grand final of an opening split like they did last season? Find out very, very soon.